rich people of Reddit who married someone significantly poorer. What surprised you about their previous way of life? Making financial decisions based around the three paycheck month. If you're paid every two weeks, most months you get two paychecks, and all of your monthly bills and budgeting is based on those two paychecks. But twice a year there are three paydays in a month, and that's when you can actually solve problems. That's when you can get the car registered, or fix the dryer, or get the cat spayed. The other 10 months you're doing maintenance, and trying to scrape by. Three paycheck months you can actually try to fix problems. More of a funny incident, but I was the poor one. My husband, at the time still boyfriend, took me out to a very nice restaurant. Waiter asked if I want pepper on my Caesar salad that was just made table side. I said sure, and he goes about it. Thing is, I didn't know you had to say stop. My husband slowly realizes this, but decides to see it play out. He did eventually say that I need to say stop. I just thought a Caesar was had this way as it was my first time even eating a salad that wasn't just iceberg and ranch dressing. It still tasted fine, just a little bit too much pepper haha. <laughs> when the family had people over for dinner, if they ended the prayer before the meal with FHB, Amen. It was a signal to let the children know that they don't have enough food for everyone, so take smaller servings and let the guests get a regular serving. FHB equals family, hold back. They were always generous to their friends, and didn't let their lack of funds embarrass themselves when doing so. Honestly, food insecurity. When we were first married she would get visibly uneasy, if the food in the house was running low. She never overate or anything, she was just always concerned about it. A lot of times when she was younger, she went hungry. On the humorous side though, she hates camping. Her answer is always the same, I camped because it was fun. She camped because they couldn't afford hotels. She and her mother lived with her grandfather to not be homeless, because her grandfather owned a house. She was putting community college payments on her credit card, and building debt with it. I paid off her credit cards, when we were dating, and she cried from me being so nice. It was only like 1300 bucks. I bought a condo, then we got married, then we bought a house. I never really considered myself rich, until I started dating her, and learned that a trip to Wendy's was a treat. I grew up middle class, and we are currently middle class, heh. <laughs> My wife was born and raised in the Soviet Union. She still goes crazy for fresh fruit like it's the most extravagant luxury. <laughs> the prevailing mindset in his community growing up, that insurance was something only rich people had. Not health insurance, mind you, well, not just health insurance, auto insurance. Going without it was a way of life for most everyone in you. I'm on the other side as I married a girl from a rich family, although we both earn the same, and I tend to worry about money slash savings slash future. Through the years I have realized that she worries less about it, and still saves more, and spends less than me. I feel like coming from a lower middle class family makes me think about saving more, but at the same time I spend money on things as I could not have them all, before I got my own job. <laughs> Sandwiches. When I made him a sandwich I only put one thin slice of meat in it. He couldn't believe that was how I had sandwiches growing up. <laughs> I'm not well off, but my stepfather is. I was raised by a single mom who spent money on everything, and bills were always behind. She just couldn't manage her money at all. In her 50s she met and married a multi-millionaire. We are in middle America, so that goes further than maybe in a lot of areas. They have given themselves $10,000 a month budget to live on, living on interest, own their home. Anyway once my mom met him and they got all her finance situated and paid off she won't spend a penny. He spends like it is going out of style. He has actually begged me to take her shopping to get clothes and accessories. She won't do it. She spent more when she was a single mom with nothing. It makes no sense to me. At least buy a new outfit. She is hell-bent to not use a penny of his money. They barely even have any groceries. If they have anything it is because he buys it for them. She is a retired nurse that gets a retirement and SS, but she won't spend anything. She lives poorer now than any other time in her life. I didn't marry this woman, but when we started dating, she always wanted to chill at my place, never hers, which was fine. 
but she gained 35 pounds in just like a few months of dating, she was 100 pounds, when we started dating, not that it was a bad thing, 1, I'm a chubby man and 2, I was just glad she wasn't pregnant, anyway, turns out her family couldn't like, afford dinner sometimes, so suddenly she had a place, to eat every night and gorged herself. I fell in love with my uni best friend who really didn't have any money. When I got a job, for my birthday I decided to plan a holiday, and offered to bring him along. It didn't even occur to me, that this was his first ever holiday he'd ever taken. His family could never afford it growing up, and he'd never really thought, to do it as an adult. My partner and I are both poor, but different kinds of poor. She's never been homeless or not had enough to eat, while I have. She's extremely frugal and hates buying anything we don't need. I feel a desperate need to stock up, if we have any extra money and it's a fight for me not to fill our house with canned and dry goods in case we don't have enough money to buy food next month for some reason. It makes no sense, but my instinct is to hoard food, because there just was never enough of it around growing up. I'm from an upper middle class American family and my husband is from a poor Asian family. It is hard for me to wrap my head around how poor they really were when he was growing up. He told me about eating only rice with sugar for meals because they couldn't afford meat. They were probably living off less that $0.50 day for a family of 5 at times. <laughs> Hamburger helper. She hates it because it would be her meal 5x a week growing up. I had never even seen HH before I went to college and love that stuff. 10 for $10 deals are awesome. I'm not rich at all, but my husband came from a very poor Mexican village. He told me he used to shower outside because there was no in-house plumbing and use leaves as toilet paper. I mean, there's poor, and there's my husband's previous life poor. He's been living in the US for 12 years now, but when we first met it was so interesting seeing life through his childlike eyes. Going to the cinema was a huge event for him. Eating food up in a microwave was a totally foreign concept, and staying at fancy hotels when we went on vacation was like whoa. I still see him surprised by things now and then and it just reminds me how much I take my middle status class for granted. My SO said, today I made rent, meaning, today I've earned enough slash accumulated enough to pay the rent, and I realized that this is a monthly accomplishment to someone with no fixed income slash salary. One of my exes could pull in a lot of money, easily twice or thrice what I could. He was so incredibly bad at saving this money. Down to, say, setting himself up as a company, to avoid paying higher rate of tax, but then paying a large amount each month to an accounting company to handle his taxes, which he'd do himself anyway, because he didn't trust them to get it right. He'd pay for taxes from one end of the city to another or hire cars, rather than use public transport. Flights cancelled, book new ones, never bother to claim back on insurance, buy a sports car, wreck it, sell it for scrap. He'd work contracts, and then take time off, to work on his own startup, but spend every weekend just going out, and buying drugs and booze. I thought it was really fun and wild at first, haha, <laughs> money really means nothing to you, but when we became a long term couple I started feeling like his mother, man. Will you not just fill out the insurance paperwork? My husband grew up in a family where they were comfortable, but on a strict budget. Six kids and mom on disability. My family had no budget. One day we were at the grocery store, and he always insists on walking up and down every aisle. I finally lost it, because he was taking so long, and asked him why he did it. Growing up we could only spend $100 a week on groceries for all of us. I always had to put what I wanted back, because we couldn't afford it. Now I can afford whatever I want, so I like to look at everything I could have. Took him 10 years to tell me this. I felt like a terrible person. Not rich but with a partner, who was raised by a teen teen mom, and grew up poor. Sometimes I just want rice and vegetables for dinner. That's a no from her. She won't go back. I was with a girl for a while who grew up in a pretty broken home still surprises me just how bad her spending habits are. She racks up credit card debt like it's nothing. Long term dating. Pets. I was always surprised by the number of pets she and her family had living in the trailer, and how much of a share of their income they spent on them. 
Credit cards were avoided. For me growing up, we were encouraged to get a credit card in our name and use it as much as possible, in order to build credit. There was always money, to pay it off each month, so it made sense to 1. Build credit and 2. Collect airline miles, or whatever the reward was back in the day. When we got together, she always used cash or a debit card. She had a credit card for emergencies, and avoided using it otherwise. It took a long time, to get her over her aversion slash skepticism. We were fortunate to have two good paying jobs, though it also taught me a healthy appreciation for what it means, to have a financial cushion. I can answer this one. I did not grow up rich by any means, but I would say my family was upper middle class. My husband was born in Nicaragua and eventually moved to Texas where his mother barely scraped by supporting him and his brother. Some of the things that surprised me. 1. He never eats snacks. Ever. They didn't have food in their kitchen, and he would go hungry sometimes. He said once they had an egg in the kitchen, and he scrambled it and split it with his brother while his mom hungrily looked on. Now as an adult he doesn't understand snacking. If we eat a banana he thinks that is our next meal. 2. He is very impressed with smaller things in life. He had one toy as a kid, truck, and now, anything I get him, he thinks is the most amazing thing in the world. He saves everything. 3. He is the hardest worker I know. He never wants to be where he was. 4. He is the most grateful optimistic person I know. We've been having some problems, family drama, trying to sell our house, work stuff etc. He is not afflicted by any of it, he is cool as a cucumber. He always says, did you eat today, do you have a place to sleep, does someone love you, then you are better than most people, ideally love him. He makes me see the world in a different better way. My experience is from the opposite perspective, I was the poor one. It absolutely flawed me how my wife acts when something broke like a car, appliances, clothes, etc. As a child living below the poverty line, replacing a tire or other necessities was a disaster, requiring tricky trade-offs in the budget, or just plain acceptance of just how boned you were. When my wife's phone broke, I went into full panic mode, while she shrugged and said, we can just a new one this afternoon. And then we did. I'm from the poorer family, not super poor, but my in-laws have a stupid amount of money so by comparison I'm very poor, but I think I can answer for her. We have two young kids, and my wife was shocked when I said we should look for clothes and toys for them at local flea markets and garage sales. The idea never occurred to her that we could save money by getting some gently used items. She had never even been to a garage sale in her life. She has grown to love them, and now questions whether it is worth it to buy any item new or not before running to Amazon or a store. Her parents think it's disgusting we make our kids wear clothes that another child had before, but they don't pay my bills. I came from a relatively wealthy family, new money, my dad started his own business and grew up poor, and my wife came from a lower income blue collar family. We got married out of college and neither made much money in the beginning. My biggest surprise was how she wanted to spend money. She was shocked when my mom bought her $100 plus pair of jeans for a birthday. She couldn't wrap her mind around spending that much on jeans. But she wanted a motorcycle for me, which I don't ride in the first place. And then a new furniture set. And then a new bed. And then a new car. She wasn't concerned about savings or retirement. And she never wanted my parents money for any of it. We are both way too proud of that. It took a long time for her to come around to having an emergency savings account, focusing on debt, and not needing the other. She eventually realized that her parents wouldn't be in such a terrible situation because their spending habits are horrible. She still has it come out sometimes though. We recently paid off my car and she immediately thought I should get a new car 